welcome back to another rousing episode of Game of Who, the show where we recap what happened in this week's episode of Doctor Who that that well aired a couple hours ago. This week we're we're looking at um, this is season eleven, ep series eleven, episode six, Demons of the Punjab. Uh, directed by Jamie Childs and written by Vinay Patel. No, no chin balls this week. No man. I think, I think this is like the one that he didn't write. Um, listen, I, I think we're gonna definitely get into it in a minute, but I kind of kind of felt like, hmm, this is another one of those episodes, isn't it? I really got that feeling. Not at first. Not not right out of the bat. Not at all. But ten minutes mm -hmm. in, I was like, oh, we're doing this again. Okay. Yeah. I mean. I didn't really have that reaction with this episode. I just, as as as, as someone who examines stories and like thinks a lot about plot structure, I really feel they could have done a better job with this episode. A lot of things could have been done with this episode. Anyway, hey everyone, mm. how's it going? Game of Who? Let's get into it because we're opening this business straight up with a grandma history lesson. Yeah, it's her birthday. Well, it's your birthday. Uh, yeah, she's 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 not a fan of the cheap ass cake that her family bought. Man, she just lays it down, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's, what the fuck is this bullshit you're trying one to make? My favorite me? things about like genuinely old people, zero fucks, man. Everything. Oh yeah, no, because they, they know that death's around the corner, so right. they don't care anymore. What are you gonna you, do? You, to you me? just lose the ability to give a shit. Right. Um, but yeah, no, uh, gra Granny's telling us about. Oh, she was the she was the first uh, woman married in Pakistan, and uh, okay. Right, right when that went down, I was like, what do you mean? How, how does that work? The show's going to explain to us later, yeah, but like we, right there, it's like, yeah. whoa. Seek and you shall find. Mm -hmm. hmm. um, Let's see. So she's handing out trinkets to uh, the constable and the constable's sister, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. As in, yeah as in, I, think, I think it's her mom in this episode. Hmm. I mean, I mean, I, th I, th I think the family's all there. We, we, you know what? We, we do find out. Grandma has some dirty letters. I, oh. I want to hear about those. Just like, pay, don't pay attention to the naughty ones. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Let's let's pay attention to the naughty ones. <laughs> Suddenly, this becomes a very different episode. Right. Oh, Horned but, demons, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But man, then, then we get introduced. Then we get introduced to the uh, starring character of this episode, the broken watch. Don't fix it. I, don't talk. I, about I mean, it. I mean, I mean. Listen, this watch. It's it's been six long years up her ass. <laughs> In a, in, a, in a Vietnamese prisoner of war camp. You, you just see uh, Christopher Vulcan behind yeah. her silently nodding as she's that, that, every, every time, Every time that watch showed up, I'm just, uh, since that intro, it's just like, no, where's Christopher Walken? He needs to deliver this. Oh, man. All right. So jump cut. Boom. It happened. That's the thing. We're like, okay. And we're immediately talking. Uh, Yaz, that's her name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yaz, Yaz and the doctor are talking. Dude, they're like, I want, I want to go to, I want to go to Pakistan. And apparently, meet my the doctor is like straight up uh, Uber for, uh, you know, she's like the Uber time lord now. She's like, when I mean Uber, I'm talking like Lyft and Uber. It's like, hey, yeah, you know. But then again, in all fairness, I mean, if you had access to a time lord yeah. after you got done doing the first three things, I, I would get around and be like, hey, let's take history trips and screw with my. Fa no, that'd be me though. Let's go yeah. screw with my family, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. And he, here, here's the thing that comes up every time. Every time they're like, "Oh, interacting with your past is dangerous." You know what? We we know we know the consequences of fucking with your own past. Evil gargoyles will come and eat your face. Mm -hmm. So it, it, explain yeah. that to the people yeah. so that they they know. I don't know, man. I, but I, we... I, I, I feel I feel I feel people are like less inclined to do a thing when they actually understand what the consequences of their actions are Although, uh, beyond like, don't do it. it it'll be bad. Listen, <laughs> man, I don't, Gargoyles. you can think Basically. everything you need to, but it was clearly explained a, the TARDIS is psychic, uh, not grandpa's dumb. She's straight up. She's like, you will yeah. understand because magic moon TARDIS psychic stuff. And, uh, oh, yeah. then apparently, uh, the TARDIS is cool with it. TARDIS really likes going to the fifties. In, in in and around that era, mm -hmm. I, I I I I think that's that's where a lot of the the, I mean, interesting, significant stuff that Doctor Who doesn't really talk about happens. Um, we'll, 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 we'll we'll get to that. We'll get possibly, to that. but boom. Well, we're we're in uh, nineteen. Is it nineteen fifty or nineteen forty? Forty seven. Nineteen forty seven. So cl close. That's going down. We see that boom. The screen goes a little uh, Damon Nine for a second though. Yeah, we we. we we, we we get a look at like Sauron, right? So I guess like the One Ring is buried here somewhere. But a... would do okay. Um, being someone else who's just completely dead inside, does that 
do anything for you. I'm like, oh, there's that effect. It's like, no, it's like, of of, of course, evil psychic aliens, right? Mm-hmm. Like, the, 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 this is why people like us would not, or would either not thrive or extremely thrive where we thrust into the situation. Because we're a little too, pl- we're a little too, like, trope savvy to, <laughs> to, like, fall for any of this shit, right? So... Right. Um, easily triggered nope switches, man. That yeah, it's one hundred percent on that. So we are in nineteen forty seven Pakistan. My first and thought we, is watch out for people wearing leather jackets. I hear they're trouble. Right. So we 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 meet uh, we meet our first person from this time period. They're hauling along a cart. We don't know who this person is, but you know he's more than willing to bum a ride to the doctor and company because mm-hmm. you know trustworthy cart owner is trustworthy. You, I don't I, I don't know carries them along there's a there's another dude there too some some hindu holy man a guru maybe i'm not sure we don't, we're not really given any indication of who or what he is it took me a minute for a, my brain and my history to like click it and i was like hindu pack uh, oh oh i kind of have an idea what's about to go down i was just like what could you possibly have going mm. down which later we learn that is definitely what's going to go down um we yeah but uh yeah holy holy man doesn't want to ride he's gonna he's gonna walk along and oh he does uh, a get thing cooked. man he was like listen i've walked my entire life and uh my feet have always been good for me and that's how i'm going to roll yeah, yeah. walk he's like that oh he, he's like i don't understand why you kids are in such a hurry on your yeah cart. this is 1947 you, 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 this you is damn again, kids again how, how dare you not dude walk ni- 1947 the... jet airplanes yep. exist and we're doing a cart joke about walking all right. I, I I mean it's it's in like rural Pakistan. I, I I believe it. I get it, man. I understand what they're going for. I understand. Yeah, but sure. uh, yeah, but uh, we 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 get we get another we get another uh, flash mm-hmm. of uh, our little spoopy aliens. Well, like at that point, um, you get like the over the shoulder and yeah. like, oh, predators, tree predators, predators on a budget. They're in the trees. Booga booga. I, my first thought was like, you know what? It's it, times got tough for ring rights after they stopped making those Hobbit movies. You gotta mm. you gotta take whatever work you can get, right? Oh man, um, that happened. That was the thing. So we're moving on with that business. Uh, where are we at? Uh, uh, we, we 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 finally roll up to the household where uh, Yaz's grandma, who's uh-huh. looking fine, uh, is uh, holed up at the moment. Yeah, like, sexy, sexy grandma doesn't like hugs though. She's she's not into that. It's like, hey, grandma, what's going on? Oh, with your traditional Pakistani ex. Yeah, okay, never mind, never mind. Um, it's it, it's the TARDIS. It's making everyone sound English. Everyone has a northern accent. Okay, that's the thing. Um, lots, lots lots of con- lots of lots of countries have a north. north, right? Or we, lots of planets have a north. Planets, um, galaxies. Uh, we, 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 uh, they, they feed them the line. Oh, we're, 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 we're uncle Malik's kids. Which I'm uncle Malik? Cousins, brothers, roommates, sisters, what For, is former right. roommates, hairdresser. Yeah. Right. Um, that's the thing. But I mean, they're gonna, uh, Yaz is like, what the f- is going on guys? I, I don't understand this. That is not my grandpa. And it kind of turns out, I mean, it's made a very, it's made clearly obvious to us that, you know, this is like secret Hindu first husband. And I'm like, yeah, who doesn't have a secret Hindu first husband? I mean, those. Right. I, 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 I kind of went the other direction. Like, spoiler alert. She's her own grandmother. Ooh. She's got the Delta brainwave. She can fight the space brains. Uh, man, I, I will definitely get into this a bit later. But did you kind of feel this thing was like telegraphed with a flamethrower? And it's like, yeah, I think I can follow the path here. Yeah. Uh, we. we, we we do we do get a we do get a look at like that very nice modern looking watch before it got crammed up a butthole. Oh yeah. Well, Chris, Chris Telegra- Christopher, Christopher Walken's just outside the window going, yes, soon. By the soon. way, this is the watch. Get it? This guy I'm surprised it didn't have like a red circle get drawn around him. Like, come on, yeah. audience, we think you're completely fucking dumb. I mean, some some audience members are. No, man, Doctor Who audience is a smart man. Anyway, smart, yeah. Uh, like the people who watch this show. <laughs> it, it's, it's not any day in 1947. It's the 17th of August. You might know it, Partition Day. That's right. Non destructive. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. Very destructive Partition Day, man. We're talking mobs, rights. Is it, is, is it a primary partition or a logical partition? Oh, no, man. It's like an MBR. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, um, we, we, we find out that in England they use. Uh, they have the same years, but uh, different months, like corned beef and bangers and mash. And 
Poppycock. The month of Poppycock. I don't know. At this point, I'm genuinely, I'm watching and I'm just, I lean back in this chair and just groan a little bit, Jordan. I did. I was like, okay, it's good to see we're having another one of these happy, fun, lighthearted episodes. We're going to be dealing with this. Okay. So, and here, here, here's kind of where I feel the, the thematic dissonance is at odds with what's going on, right? We got, we got like our A plot and we got our B plot. Mm-hmm. Okay. So there, 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 there's, there's aliens and then there, there's, don't interfere with grandma hooking up with her first husband. Cause then you may not be a baby anymore. But I, I really, I really do feel if you're going to, if you're going to like set, uh, if you're going to set an episode in a time period like that, at least have some sort of thematic connection to what's happening. Right. Mm-hmm. This, 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 this is, this is a story about colonialization or colonization and alienation and the evil shit that the British do that we don't really acknowledge because this is a British show and we don't want our viewers to feel bad about the shitty things our country did. And um, yeah, and and, ha- and having some of those themes reflected in like the um, in like the alien the alien plot, we we find out we find out a little bit more about these aliens later. And I guess I guess I'll talk more about that when we get to it. But I I I, I don't know. I f- I feel like if you're going if you're going to like set set your episode oh this takes place during like uh the pre rosa parks incident or on partition day and in, in for india and pakistan then like maybe maybe utilize that to like tell a more compelling story possibly and um, like don't f- maybe maybe kind of shy away from fixed points in time it's something that should be a fixed point yeah, I, I mean, well, like, I, listen, man, that, I'm, that, say, that, I'm saying, like, listen, I'm going to talk now. Um, I'm, right. I'm going to say this as the viewer. Mm-hmm. We know the, uh, the, this is not the last episode of the series of Doctor Who. Mm-hmm. We know Yaz isn't going anywhere. The rest of this episode is fucking pointless outside of just finding out the details of how it happened. Because we already know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it, it, it really seems that like this episode doesn't earn its emotional payoff, but we'll get to hey man, that. We see the aliens. Later. They talk about the border and like, boom, look, border aliens. Ha, I get it. And uh, blam, that, that thing happened, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So they're, 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 they're like, oh, here, here we are. Here's the, here's the border. India, Pakistan, Australia and America. And then we learned that apparently India or Pakistan is on the border with Mordor. Mordor. Mm-hmm. Uh, because, you know, our ring wraith alien demons show up. And um, then they, uh, what, what did they do? They, well, they were just kind of there, weren't they? Yeah, and they're like, oh, shit. Then um, not the other not grandpa. Wow, this is going to get confusing. Yeah. Um, he's like, whoa, I've seen them before. I'm like, what's going on? He's like, oh, convenient flashback to the war. And Don't mention the war. Yes, the war. And he saw him like hanging out over his dead brother, uh, who he went back to get. And mm-hmm. that was the thing, man. Yep, and then they ran away. So we we get we get a little clip of that, um, and then oh right, and then uh, then the aliens get sent off because you know our Indi- uh, like I guess he's yeah he he's a Hindu Indian Indian not grandma, um or grandpa shoot shoot some aliens. I mean it didn't work for the farmer from Dragon Ball Z, but you know can work now. Shoots at gun, gun and beats aliens. Turns out, like our uh, the guy who was there, uh, the Hindu, uh, the priest, or whatever. The, the, I, I think guru? I want to say guru, but I'm probably wrong. No, um, um, he, he's and, terribly and he deceased. Did. He's practically no more. Yes, the space Mordorians have made him fabulous, though, because he has a bunch of purple shit flowing around him. I don't know, man. It was like disappearing, reappearing, disappearing purple shit, and it's like, Phew. ooh, yeah. So, so uh, the, as the, is tradition. The, the, Doctor's we, like, we, check we it out, man. Some demons. Sonic. Yeah. I'm going to go Sonic things. And she mm-hmm. Sonic's off into the wilderness. Yep. Right? Yeah. But they find something. Uh, they, they do. Uh, it turns out that there's a teleporter that takes them to a giant underground dome. Well, actually, they found they found the dome first, and then they teleported inside it when the oh. doctor waves their Sonic around. Dude, I like right before this, uh, the doctor, this seems like a thing. Th- this is going to happen in the first act of every episode, this series at least. Mm-hmm. There has to be the scene where the doctor delegates who's going to go where. Mm-hmm. And she does that with Yaz. And she's like, no, Yaz, you need to go do whatever. It could be careful. Don't talk to anyone. Uh, it could have a massive time paradox, which begs the question. 
highly irresponsible. To, I would not even like tempt that man. Right. Why? Why, why is I, this I, even? I, I, I mean, again, brings me back to my original point. Explain to people what the consequence of the time paradox is. Mm -hmm. And then they probably won't do it because no one's got their face eaten by gargoyles. Right. I don't know, man. Uh, um, but uh, but uh, the doctor waves her sonic screwdriver around and we get that other point in the story where the doctor reads the alien's files to learn all about them. Well, yeah, I mean, she kind of leans down and she's like, hey, look, here's the thing. I'm, this is the this is the equivalent of poking things with a stick is like poking it with a sonic. Yep. And it's like, Pshoo! they get sucked down. I'm like, OK. Yep. And apparently the sonic is a demon tracker because, you know, everyone else is like, it's demons. And the doctor's yeah. like, whatever. Go demon, demon hunting. Whatever. The, the, the doctor literally says that. Uh, and they're in a ship. Or something of the sort. And I think it's like hand waved away. This is a thing. It's got a column in the middle thing in it. Uh, it goes all holographs. It's like, is, is that supposed to be the plans to the Death Star? What's going on here? No, it's, it's Star Killer base. It's different. It's a totally ah, different movie. Okay. It, it no, no. We, 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 we find out who these aliens are. Apparently, they're assasturbation aliens. Oh. Famous. Hmm. The, yeah, the, 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 well, I mean, we, we find out that's not the case later, but. Ah. Well, yeah, but uh, she knows about it, man. There, there's some she, she, she knows about she people, knows. right? Yeah, she she knows she knows their reputation. Where they the most effective assassins in the they galaxy. Get, they get up in the mornings like, man, I'm gonna kill and assassinate and maybe, maybe have some lunch. Here yep. I go assassinating again. Yep. Um. But in in the in the in the console, they do find they do find that uh, the guru yogi person his face is there because mm -hmm. apparently they're also the faceless men from Game of Thrones. I don't know. At this point, man, I got a lot going on. I'm like, what are these? Are these like the silence on a budget or, you know, kind, mm -hmm. kind of getting that vibe, making people forget about them? And it's like, I think I remember them at some point. And we're rolling around that and we see the head and then I'm like, oh, whatever happened to the blue head guy? I miss him. hundred percent. hundred percent. That totally happened. Uh, okay. So known predator of yogis. That, that's kind of what we take yeah. from that. And there is the uh, canister of stuff that the doctor's like, yo, I sonic this and it has the, like what, the, the densest whatever. Oh, I, 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 I spaced on like the specific line, but it's like, oh, oh. it's like super dense. Yeah, I memory. think that, yeah. Oh, that's but, much, that's a little bit later in the show. Yeah, but. yeah. But, uh, but, but before, before that though, we, we, we get, um, we, we get the doctor confronting not Indian grandpa and being all like, okay, you gotta, you gotta tell me where you saw these guys. Right. Mm -hmm. So he, 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 fi he finally, he finally tells the story, but here's the thing though, like given all the world war two doctor who stories, I'd say that half the war was fought against like Nazi Daleks and other aliens. Would you like some tea? <laughs> exterminating, exterminating. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Um, yeah, that was like definitely a thing, man. But she's like the tube of pink, glowy stuff. Like, fuck it. You know, I want this. I need to take this. I need to examine mm -hmm. this. So she pulls it off the pedestal and it goes all Temple of Doom, man. Yeah, a bunch of bunch of aliens warp in. And they shoot they shoo them out. Yeah. They get they get they get warped out, right? Yeah, they 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 get they get they get ported out. And then Lo and behold, the camera pans to the side. Oh, there's teleporty things all over the forest that we totally didn't have in the other shots. Yeah, <laughs> that's how they've been keeping the people out, man. They got like a ring of things. If you get too close, it just like resets you back at the beginning of the level. Yeah, yeah. and those things were big too. They were not cleverly, they were, they're not something you would walk by and go, oh, I never noticed that before, but no. Yep. This is the first time uh, we see this. This is absolutely. So the doctor starts collecting them because she has a, she has a plan. Mm-hmm. A, 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 a cunning uh, cunning plan is formed in her brain. And um, they head back to uh, Yaz and Grandma, who are having a little conversation at the moment. Yeah, man. Grandma's like giving a little speech about religion being dumb and all the while still being sexy grandma. I'm just saying. I mean, I mean, yeah, the, 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 the actress is hot. You that, go, girl. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but, but, but again, like um, Yaz goes outside and she's like, oh, man, I can't believe... I can't believe like grandma never told me about any of this. And and and, and again, it, it's all conflict manufactured from not revealing the consequences of time paradoxes. Yeah, I mean, at that point, 
I'm like, yeah, but I, I kind of get it. I mean, even the yep. situation and what we know up to this point is like, yeah, it's a bit fucked. But I don't think I would, yep. you know, that's not really sharing information. That's inflicting it on like mm -hmm. your generations. Yeah, that went down. Um, so they're chilling out. They're outside. And here comes the doctor through a field of flowers, happy and excited to see everyone, right? Get to the chop barn. Yeah, I, I, I like what you put there. That was that was about right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of what it felt like, man. And she's got like a fistful of those teleporter things. Yeah. And she's like running in. Then the baddies show up, right? They're like, Phew. yep. And she's like, oh, you got to leave these people alone. They're under my protection. We don't answer to you. We answer right. to Melkor, the deceiver, <laughs> patron of Sauron and blah, blah, blah. You made it through all that, and I'm just sitting there counting how many eyes they have. Okay, two things I noticed. Seven eyes. Also, they have the same ears as uh, Deep Space Nine. What's his name? Who was uh, the shapeshifter's, like, uh, lackey. Oh, um, I Jeffrey Combs plays him, but yeah. I forget. I forget the I forget the actual name of the alien species. I tomorrow, play the actor. tomorrow, at like two p.m. I'll be like, oh, right, that that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no, it's it's literally it's literally gonna be like as we end the episodes, it's like fuck. But anyways, yeah. Yep. Um, they they kind of remind me a bit of Garrus from Mass Effect, but and yeah. Um, but um, yeah, the 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 wedding has to continue though. The Doctor is being very bridezillish. Y'all have to get married. Y'all have to get married. Oh no, and she is. She's like, we're still gonna get married. How much time can you buy us? And the Doctor is like, mm, you know, like ten hours, maybe eighteen hours max. Mm -hmm. To which I would be like, oh, Grandma, you're a little thirsty. Um, I don't know how that works out. Anyway, she's going to uh, doctors like, we got to figure out what this stuff is that she just straight up stole. Let's be honest here, Ben. Yeah. Like the, I, these, I mean, the doctor steals stuff all the time. I'm just saying these, these aliens have not harmed anyone. There's no evidence of them harming anyone. And she's like, oh, breaks in to their ship, steals their shit, and is like, using their technology against them. She's being hostile is all I'm saying. Anyway, yeah. anyway, she sticks the Sonic on the uh, vial and it went boom. She's like, whoa, I don't know what this stuff is. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, all right. That, that, that is definitely a thing. Uh, where are we at now? Um, yeah, she, she, uh, the, the doctor has another idea. Need you to get me a bunch of shit. Some, I, I forget what, what it was, but the last thing was like chicken poo. And, and like, I'm, I I just went through like the ingredient list. I'm like, is she trying to cast fireball or something no, like this? This it, is. It, it was. Yeah, it was like yeah. all that junk chicken poo. She was like saliva from an ox or something. I'm completely giving away the recipe for Heinz 57. That totally happened. Um, but yeah, I, I I do like later on was like, oh, man, that ox is a little too into me collecting his spit. Oh, right. No one really. I, likes you know it. what? I ship it. And she either built a device to figure out what, what's inside that vial or a still. But why not both? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, but we 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 cut um we cut to the aliens. Apparently they're figuring they're just realizing, oh wait, we can remote access our stuff because we left SSH running. So <laughs> you made this? I made this. Wait, yeah. I did make this. Yes, I have remote access to it. Uh so so we so we get some ominous clicking and clocking from the aliens. Um, and yeah, um, what, what, what was it? Uh, we, we, we cut, we cut to, uh, Yaz's grandma's grandma, great, great grandma applying makeup. And apparently, apparently, uh, she's not very good at applying, uh, makeup because she had to, you know, gut a body earlier. I mean, only, only a poor artist blames them performing dissections for their poor drawing skills. Well, they still have to find somebody to marry them, man. Yeah, turns turn, turns out the doctor is a fancy person, and therefore fancy people can we marry need someone other respectable. And it's like you're yeah. a doctor. It's like I guess that works. And she, yes. of course, this is like in almost every episode so far. What, what's the drop this week? What's a historical thing the doctor did? Uh, mar married Albert Einstein. Yeah. Listen, I, I I just like that our new doctor is kind of thirsty and gets around. I'm just saying, man. Well, she married Einstein to his wife um yes the uh, space still is kind of working though yeah I, I, honestly i was a little sad just like can you marry us and she like interprets it as yes i will marry both of you right now and we'll be like a weird three-person couple yeah why not let's yeah. roll yeah, let's do <laughs> don't it. knock it till you try it um yeah. 
Okay. That happened. Uh, densest organic material. That's what she's discovered yes. with the uh, space still. And it's like, challenge accepted. I know, I, I know a lot denser organic material of my life than whatever's in that thing. What are you thinking that is at this point? I'm like, are we doing terraforming again? Or I, I honestly didn't like have any ideas at this point. I'm just like, okay, where is this going? Where's it mm. going? All right. there, there, the, the, the twist is happening. We're, we're, we're going to get the reveal. Well, what's going on over there in B plot land? In B plot land, they're getting they're getting ready for the marriage, and um, we um actually actually uh no we get um where, where are we fuck yeah um yeah come come coming back to like we 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 get to I think we finally talk to the aliens again and we discover what they're actually doing here. Um, it's kind of creepy. Yes. So what they're doing is. They used to be assassins, but they're not anymore because their planet got blown up. Mm -hmm. So now they sit around and watch people die and they go through time and watch people die. That and, basically, I mean, if you had to do it in a sentence, they're like, oh, but we're there to observe. And they cross their arms and all that. It's like, man, so you guys are just a bunch of creepers that get off watching people. Oh, yeah. Time, time traveling snuff voyeurs. That's a very, very sympathetic. Yeah. Uh, but 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 again, like this coming back to like this reveal, right? I really feel you could have like drawn a better parallel between like what what the aliens are really doing here versus the 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 the, the, the separation of the the separation of uh, the the land between India and Pakistan maybe like oh yeah no we're we're space refugees you know because we got conquered by the tooth the tooth people and then mm -hmm. our our territory got split up so now we're trapped here and blah 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 right like and that 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 would be more tonally and like thematically in sync with what's happening here right <laughs> other aside from like oh here yeah they're just like weird creepy space people they they don't do anything. All this, all this drama was kind of for nothing. Yeah, I, I feel that it was just a huge missed opportunity. I don't know. I mean, for me, it kind of felt like okay, we we finally because let's be honest, up to this point, if you like uh, minus aliens in this equation, this entire episode belongs on the Hallmark Channel. All right. Yeah, like and it's so uh, at, at, at yeah. this point, we're almost at the halfway point. We realize like the aliens don't affect anything because even the doctor's like, well, can you make sure he doesn't die? And they're like, we're not God's doctor. You fucking should know that. Right. Yep. Uh -huh. I mean, I mean like uh, some, someone who respects the consequences for, you know, a, um, uh, like the time par time paradoxes, but they also gave that information to a known time traveler mm -hmm. who, you know, then goes and tells Yaz, who's an emotionally compromised person traveling through their own past. <sighs> then I, yeah, it's got to play out like it's got to play out again. It kind of goes back to what I said earlier. Like, you know how this has to play out immediately, right? And we get we get. I I've started to actually really like Graham as a character just because he's super sarcastic and probably saying half the shit I would say. He's comedic relief. Yeah, I yeah. Mean. Um, but he gives this speech about like we just have to be good men mm -hmm. and that will make up for you know this atrocity that's happening that was totally caused by britain you know the, the country making this program and is being totally unself-aware and trying to like oh we, everyone just needs to be better as opposed to acknowledging you know shitty shit that your country did i don't yeah. know, I don't know. It's a, it's a wait. It, it, it's a kid it, it, show, it's a, jordan it's supposed to be light-hearted and not deep. yeah wait a minute. That, that, oh, that's, that's the thing you you don't you don't get if you're if you're gonna go do go do like Rosa Parks or if you're gonna do like Separation Day you don't get to whitewash it you don't that's, mm -hmm. that's kind of the consequence of using that for your story. Oh man! All right. So what else is going on? Uh, not Grandpa is all choked up. Um, the not not Grandpa, the other not Grandpa, getting ready for his wedding day, and he's got on his best clothes, his war uniform. And for mm -hmm. whatever reason, regular not grandpa is like choked up. He's like, oh, I'm proud of you, son. I'm like, you've known him for 30 fucking seconds. I, I, no, no one's buying that. I can't even buy that. I cannot not. Willing suspension of disbelief does not work for me in this scenario. There's no mm -hmm. reason. Yep. But um, we get some we, we get we get some uh, wedding now. Uh, we get we get the sonic screwdriver slash scissors cutting a rope, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Man. Well, like, I, she, she for, pointed for, at it and the rope fell. Yeah, well, they do the thing like, oh, let's get uh, married and all that. And they're standing like um, above a stream and the camera cuts down for a minute. And I was like, snake. And it's like, no, rope. I was like, oh, that's a Hindu thing. Will we uh, tie each other's? I was like, yeah, I guess. Kind of. All right. Yeah. Uh, sneak but tease. We, 
but we 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 get we get the we get the brother staring from the distance ominously. Oh yeah, dun, dun, dun. but you know, to be fair, like right all through up to this point, you just think, yeah, okay, yep, we're waiting for the brother to do something dumb, right? Yep, right, show. Yeah. That, that, that's what you're trying to tell me clearly. That that that's what they established because he's being all like, oh, you can't you can't do this. You shouldn't get married here. You should run away. Blah blah blah. Yeah, he's I'm been like, radicalized by and. I don't know. So they get married and all that. And you think, but you know, this is one of the issues I have with this. Even at this point, the uh, her grandma, Yaz's grandmother, is like, oh, and have your family have fed whatever I for once would like to feed you. And the show's like, oh, look, maybe the brother's going to have a come to Jeebus moment. And I'm genuinely sitting there going, show, you know, we both know, show, that that's not going to happen here. No, we 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 need we need more manufactured conflict. Yeah. So, um, so I I oh but before before that happens, we 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 finally get the reason why the watch the watch is uh, broken. Oh, right. Yeah, because like because they did the the Hindu ceremony with the with the rope tying. Now they're gonna do a Muslim thing by giving her a watch the giving that falls, watch. and she's like, "Oh no, it's perfect. This is us. This is forever. Broken. This is us forever. Broken and useless." <laughs> TikTok. Oh man, that again, again, dissonance, dissonance. Mm. You could have done better. Show. Curse a dead watch. Oh yeah. man. Uh, okay, so we're definitely getting into the third act, and it is. I mean, I, I can smell the. Younger brother is going to do something stupid any minute now, Jordan. Any oh, minute, yeah. I can feel it. Oh yeah, no, we we, we the do- the doctor runs into him and he's got his gun, <laughs> and we we get the big reveal. You killed the dude from the first act. You mm-hmm. shot him because you wanted to cancel the wedding. <laughs> and he's like, "Yes, Muslims and Hindus shouldn't marry each other because reasons." <laughs> so, oh, man, oh, I don't. Oh. Ham fisted writing is a lot, is the politest thing I can say about this. Oh, oh, a little bit. Um, but it turns out late later on in the evening, there's gunfire and conflict coming, and in the morning, so the the soldiers, or the all four of them, will be here. Well, there's I mean, going to be problems. Yeah, and it, I don't know. Like up until this point, because it seems like they've had a couple of um, speeches that hinted at it, but never like really asked the question. What's dumber here, fighting over religion or fighting over land? I'm going to say religion because you can use land for something. Imaginary, well, borders on land. And yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, we're talking about TV shows here, kids. So yeah. Uh, yeah. We, 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 get our, we get our little dichotomy there. Mm-hmm. Um, we, 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 do, we do learn why grandma ends up uh, ending or uh, going where she ends up. Because apparently um, the now husband, but not grandfather, Picked a, picked a random spot on a map and said, "When I'm gonna go there one day." And turns out Sheffield, which I guess is an exotic land if you live in Pakistan. Listen, but, if you need to be somewhere at three o'clock in the morning and there's somebody drunk eating salad and throwing tomatoes, Sheffield gets that job done. That this this, this is true. Mm-hmm. Um, though um, I guess he's lucky he didn't pick the middle of the ocean. I'm gonna go there. Blub blub blub. <laughs> um, but. You know, the the the, the time is okay. here. The doctor knows that uh, yeah. not grandpa, husband, dude is doomed. People are the coming aliens told her that. The, the doctor, like, for fuck all reason, I can't get this, man. She's like, oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Go, go. Well, I mean, you got to let she, the she, events She knows happen. he's going to die, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, but I, wouldn't it be more in the doctor's nature to try to find a way to fuck around with this somehow? I'm like, you know, I, I, I mean, I mean, yes, we, we, we've, we've certainly got that in the past where it's like, Oh no, I'm going to find a way to make everyone live. Well, think but, about a uh, river song, man. She's like, Oh yes. And your last night with the doctor, how long is the nights last? And doctor is like 40 years, 30 yeah. years. Right. Shit yeah. like that. That's kind of what I was expecting, but, but I, I, I mean, I, I, again, we have, we have an emotional arc in this episode that we got to button up. Mm. And so we get, we get, we get, we get our little, I guess, Pakistani standoff, Indian standoff. I don't know. Um, Pakistani versus, uh, yeah. Four, the four horsemen show up. Yep. Ric Flair, those other guys. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, 
We, 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 we get the big dramatic scene. Can't you just let us live? We just want to live in harmony. No, nationalism and religion is I too know important. You. We were in the war together. Blam. Yeah. And of, and of course, our, our ring wraiths show up and like, yes, time to watch another person die. Right. Ooh. Oh, I love it. I'm into that it. happens. Mm. Then, then we get a cut back to the alien ship and you see like his hollow head, uh, not uh, like holographic head version, like float up to the ceiling with a collection of the others. And I was like, that's their porn collection. I hope everyone knows that. Right. Yeah. And, and I, I will say like the, the transition back to the hardest was a really smart cut. It's like, this is the kind of like narrative and editing symmetry that we're not seeing anywhere else in the fucking episode. Mm. Um, Man. So uh, but, what we, oh, I guess we just kind of flash back with the as and uh, current time grandma, right? Yeah. Uh, they, 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 they make it back to the present day, mm -hmm. uh, I guess. And grandma and, was like, yo, do you, do you, do you want to know the uh, real story behind this watch? No. Because, because apparently Yaz has Marty McFly syndrome. Like people, people who've met her in the past just don't recognize her anymore. She, yeah. Oh, you know what? I my brain had tapped out by that point. It was like, you know, screw this. I'm, I'm going to do something else while you finish watching this. Finn. Like, oh, okay. Also, also, Grandma has a totally inappropriately placed your mom joke. Oh, but I mean, basically, Yaz asked Grandma. She was like, "Yo, you're happy, right? Time heals all wounds." And Grandma's like, "Yeah." Yeah. It's all cool, fam. Yeah. Oh, not not before uh, rolling out by Graham taking another take at Sheffield. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, not as exotic as I would have thought. <laughs> the end. The moral of the story is if you're going to go back in time and mess with your grandparents, you should become one of your grandparents. Um... Okay, so I guess to wrap this up, man, if, if we got to put a bow on it, I'm, I'm going to say I borderline didn't like this episode, but I think more accurately, I felt like this episode wasted my fucking time. Yeah, I feel I feel there's a lot of missed potential here, and it's it's sort of emblematic of like sort of the the structural problems with the episodes in this season. I mean, it was a oh, it was a perfectly fine episode from like a Doctor Who perspective. I didn't hate it, but like. The, the the thing about Doctor Who is that the, the plots are tissue thin and like the second you start poking at it, it falls apart. Um and so hmm. and, and, and and so like yeah, I I if, if I didn't have to do a podcast about it, I'd probably <laughs> say like, you know what, that was an episode. Uh, but dude, uh tr here's the truth. Now th this is not necessarily throwing shade on Doctor Who because I'll do this with a lot, a gang of things I watch, it will get to a point. I'm like, you know what? I'm done with this episode because guess what? I know how this ends. There, there's mm -hmm. nothing left in this episode that's going to make me go, oh. And that that was like right, right at the point with almost the halfway mark when they decide that, oh, we're just going to get married. Uh, anyone is like, yeah, I know this ends. I, I would have tapped out right then if I wasn't doing the show. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of wish that they they they'd be a little more sharper with the writing maybe a, maybe a little edgier cuz like ev everything just seems so blunt and like not 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 like blunt as in direct but like blunted it doesn't it doesn't have much impact mm -hmm. it, it 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 sets up arcs and doesn't really do anything with them i don't think they um, even set it, up it, any arcs we we've it, it well, I, I, they... I mean, like in, in, in inter internally through the episode well maybe okay yeah. yeah if you wanted to look at it like that um yeah. No consequences for anything. I mean, that, that that's Doctor Who. Everything returns to the status quo or gets retconned so that it is the status quo. Time travel. Oh. Um, I guess I, I didn't get I didn't get a chance at all to watch the preview for next week's episode. Nope. Neither did I. Um, still going to watch it. Still got faith. Yep. Uh, this is episode six. six. So we have, I believe, four more four regular and the holiday special. The New Year's Eve special, because we're not getting a Christmas special. Yeah. It's going to be New Year's Eve. Because reasons. All right. Well, because it's a Sunday, I guess. I don't know. Reasons. Ha. Or it's, it's a Saturday, actually. But what no reasons. Extra. Double complete no. reasons. Yeah. Mo no. no, it's a Monday. I can't read calendars. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, so tune in for more Jordan Can't Read Calendars right. next time. Next week. Um, thanks, everyone, who showed up. It's been fun. It's been real. Uh, most of you, I'm assuming, are listening to us. Uh, like, 
both of you. Maddie mm-hmm. showed up. Hi, Maddie. Um, that's going to be the thing. We're going to hang out in the after show for a minute on the live stream on the live show. Come check us out next week if you want. We go live normally around nine, uh, depending on transit. Yes. <laughs> hey, 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 man, I was, I was, I was, I just, I skirted under it. the line this week. You made it, buddy. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me get this going up and we're going to peace it out. <laughs>